it's Friday, which means that it's new makeup release Friday. So if you guys don't know what that is, it is where we sit back, relax, and we talk about all the new makeup releases and if we're going to get them and if they're worth it. If you guys want to see what all the new makeup releases are this week and what my thoughts are on them, well then definitely keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start off the video by saying that I am currently pre-filming this video. As of right now, by the time you guys are watching this, I would have gone to the dentist. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. So if you guys don't know, um, I was chewing a frozen blueberry last week and my tooth decided that it had enough and wanted to part ways from my mouth. <laughs> so I lost a corner of my tooth and I went, into, I went into the dentist on Monday and lo and behold, the dentist wasn't there and it's not gonna be there till tomorrow technically today by the time you guys are watching this. So I actually am pre-filming this video because I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna lose my tooth, if they're gonna save the tooth, I don't know. So I am petrified and I'm probably shitting my brains out. So we are just pre-filming this. So um, I will definitely let you guys know in an updated video or in the comment section how I'm doing. <sighs> But yeah, I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss an upload for you guys because I'm at the dentist. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of go over all the new makeup releases. I don't know if I'm gonna miss anything because I usually like to film these on Friday, the day of posting the video so that I can make sure I get every single new release. But since we're doing it kind of early, we might miss some stuff, but that's okay because we can always talk about it next week. So as always, I do get all my information from Trend Mood and Point Click Vibes. So with that, so we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. So up first actually has something from Bling Brushes. We have not talked about Bling Brushes here in a hot minute, but they just restocked the Page Corn X Bling Brushes. This is the original cloud that they came out with. I wanna say like in 2019, 2020 they launched this brush set right here and it is finally like finally restocked you guys can use code alley which will save you guys 10 percent off when shopping over at bling brushes and i know so many of you guys have asked me well ali where is your brush set ali i want your red set oh you guys are the sweetest i know you guys want them so bad i believe if i'm correct i believe they should be restocking them by christmas time but we shall definitely see but in the meantime if you guys do like pink if you guys love page and you guys just want to get your hands on these brushes they are officially stocked as of right now you guys can go get your hands on these brushes and like i said you guys can use code alley which will save you guys 10 percent off so i thought that was really cool because these brushes have been out of stock for a hot minute next we have the fantasy cosmetica this is the fighter palette now this is officially live as of yesterday <laughs> being a little cheeky as of yesterday they just launched their brand new fighter palette. This does retail for $39.99. You guys can buy the matte shades individually, the shimmer shades individually, individually, or the multi-chromes individually. You guys can use code Alley, which will save you guys 10% off this collection. I really do love Fantasy Cosmetica. If you guys do want to see me playing this palette, I just did a video where I did like a life update and I showed myself using this palette. Very gorgeous. Had a lot of fun playing with this and it's officially live if you guys want to go check it out. Next, we have a brand new Jaclyn Rocks and collection. So this actually launched yesterday. It is the Butterfly 2.0 collection. It's what I'm actually wearing on my neck right now. I did a cute little reel. It came with the gold butterfly necklace, a silver butterfly necklace, a butterfly ring, and two little butterfly stud earrings. Super freaking cute. You guys know how much I love Jaclyn Roxanne and they sent that over to me they, and they sent that over to me and I was just like, oh my God, this is the cutest. I really like the reel that I filmed because I filmed it like outside. You guys can see how the crystals actually like sparkle in the light. Like this is such a beautiful necklace. This is a rendition or like a 2.0, a 2.0 version of the butterfly collection that came out last year in honor of Jacqueline's birthday. And they're doing it again this year in honor of Jacqueline's birthday. They are launching their butterfly 2.0 collection. I think it's incredibly cute. And so many of you guys asked me if I have codes for Jacqueline Roxanne. I wish, but I do not. But if you guys do want to get your hands on this, I'll make sure I link it down below. Go check it out. The collection's now live, and I think it's just like the cutest thing. Up next, it looks like Sephora just launched their Peach Blossom. It's a peach scented and infused with peach powder for a glowy skin. So it looks to be a sponge set and a face, a face and eye brush set. Well, that's so curious though. So it says a brush set. 
and the sponge are both infused with peach powder. What does that mean? Like, what is what? What does that mean? What does that mean? mean? Like, I really want to know what, what is what does that mean? mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like, how is it infused with peach powder? Like, what does it do? Like, does it set your face? Like, what does it do? Oh my gosh, I'm so curious. I absolutely do love peaches. I think one, they taste amazing. They smell incredible, and they're just a really cute color, really fun theme. So this is something I definitely would be interested in checking out at whenever I go to Sephora. I kind of want to like smell it <laughs> maybe test it out and be like where's the peach powder you know and like maybe like maybe they like taste it not the tester because like ugh, gross but if i buy my own you know maybe but it is available as of now and it looks super cute something i'm definitely interested in getting <laughs> okay so up next it looks like thrive cosmetics is launching a infinity waterproof liquid eyeliner pen you guys know how much i love thrive cosmetics their mascara is incredible and so many of you guys tagged me in this and sent this to me and asked me to get it and i'm just like i love you I do. Hear me out. We're friends, okay? And friends can be honest with each other. Y'all, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get this. I don't like liquid liner. And yes, I did I try it out with the subscriber pick my makeup? I absolutely did. And so many guys were like, just watch Robert Welsh. Go watch so many tutorials. They walk you through how to do liquid liners. Y'all, I have seen videos over the years. I've been on YouTube officially for like four years, but I've been like looking on YouTube for makeup stuff for to 10 years and I have been practicing makeup since I was like pretty much a kid and I just don't like liquid liner. It's just not for me. I don't like it with my particular eye shape. Now I'm not saying people with my eye shape can't rock it. Oh my God, I bet you they absolutely can. I personally just don't like it. And if I do any sort of like liquid liner, it's not even liquid liner. It just does like, I just do like a black powder, a black eyeshadow to kind of just like go along my waterline to blend with my false lashes and that's pretty much it. I just, I'm not a fan. So I'm going to pass on this just because I know I would never ever use this, but you guys are so sweet to still want me to. I really appreciate it, but I'd rather somebody who generally would do a great job and a great review on this get it versus me who would just end up just trashing it because it, I would be completely biased and it wouldn't be fair to the product or you guys. So up next, it looks like Gucci and <laughs> Gucci released a new Flora Gorgeous Magnolia perfume. This is a fragrance. This is a fragrance featuring a unique bouquet full of joyful floral strengths that reminds you to trust yourself and free your fantasies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm only laughing because sometimes when they, whoever does like the description just kind of makes me laugh because I've never had a perfume. Like I never like, okay. This is my Lancome, my Lancome Adul, Adul perfume. I've never sprayed a perfume and been like this. I can trust myself. I can be free to fulfill my fantasies. Like I've, I've never done that with a perfume. Especially because like my fantasies would consist of me being inside my fantasy books on my shelf and though in those worlds and live out my magical fantasies in there and obviously a perfume wouldn't be able to make that happen <laughs> and i do trust myself so it's just very interesting the way they do the description because that made me laugh but um so it looks like the smallest bottle retails for 100 and the biggest bottle retails for 168 this is something i definitely want to smell in person i'm very particular with how my scents are i don't like anything too strong and like a floral scent I like a sweeter smelling perfume, but if it smells like roses, I'm just like, Ugh. to me, it smells like an, like, a, like, a, like an old lady. And I just, I'm not really into those type of scents. So I'm very particular about my perfume and what I like and what I don't like. So it's why whenever I do buy perfume, I have to smell it in person and like put it on me, kind of like walk away for a minute, just see how like it wears over time before I actually go buy it because I just... I'm very particular because like a perfume can smell great at first, but then over time you want to see how well it actually balances with your pH, how well it sits on your clothes. What, the, what does it smell like over time? Like I'm just, yeah, I'm kind of picky about it. Up next, which I actually always think is so exciting and I never really talk about these that often on my channel. I don't really know why, but Sephora just released some new sets. They released their Give Me Some Lip Shine set and their Gimme Dreamy Makeup Set, and their Mini Lux Vibes Beauty Set. And honestly, I really do enjoy Sephora's sets like this because it just kind of reminds me of getting the play by Sephora. Now granted, that was only $10. These do vary in price between like $49, $35, $49, and they have all of the best of the best products in these bags. Now, a lot of them tend to be, you know, deluxe sample sizes, and some are full sizes, but you do really get a great value for what you're getting. And it's a great way to test all these products out without actually spending a fortune on these products. I mean, like some of these products alone retail for $49 and you got that with like nine other products in the bag. They tend to be fantastic, especially during the Christmas season. When they do like their perfume set, 
I love their perfume set because you get like nine or 10 different perfumes. You could take a coupon, you can go and turn it in and actually redeem a full size perfume of your, of your choice. And I, a full size perfume from that box of your choice. I really do love the concept of it. So these sets are always super cute. I definitely want to start buying them more and like trying them out because it's been a minute since I have, and I just really have always enjoyed these sets. And I feel like, I feel like I should talk about that more. <laughs> okay. So up next, um, I don't know how to say this brand's name. Floor, Floor, P H L U R, Floor. I don't know, but they just released their new father figure perfume. It says rooted in lushness. Father figure is a vivid green fragrance that captures the intimate feeling of cool. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? It captures the intimate feeling of cool. What does that mean? I, I, I just, I don't, I don't get the description. Captures the intimate feeling of being cool. What type of cool are we talking about? Like a chili cool or like, <laughs> I'm so cool. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> kind of thrown off by that. So um, this is something I definitely would be interested in smelling because it's like a earthy woody scent with like warm woods, but I don't like jasmine, but it has sandalwood, which I do like sandalwood. So I'd have to smell this in person, but man, I want to know who comes up with these scents because that, that shit is just so entertaining to me. <laughs> Next, it looks like Trixie is releasing their Trixie Sticks cream bronzers. There are six blendable shades for $16. And you know what? I will say this is a really cute picture first off. Secondly, I actually really do like the fact that they're only $16. So it makes it really easy for me to want to check, check out because it seems so affordable. It was six different shades. So it looks to be like one light, um, looks like it'd be like one to two light, one to two medium, one to two deep, which I really do appreciate kind of the balance between all of that. And um, yeah, I don't know. I never really tried Trixie's cosmetics. I don't know like the quality and I almost stumbled over my words. <laughs> Today's been a day, y'all. I've been up since 6 a.m. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in checking this out. And now I'm just kind of rambling on because I just kind of laughed at my own self or stumbling over my words, but they're available as of now. Um, I've never tried this brand, but if any of you guys have, let me know what you guys think down below because I'm kind of curious about it. Up next, it looks like Charlotte Tilbury is restocking their beach sticks. So it says that this is a sun-kissed summer glow inspired by Charlotte's favorite Isabethan beaches. Wear on your cheeks and lips for an instant sun-kissed summer radiance, $39 each. This is something I'm definitely going to pass on because you guys know that I don't like sticks like this. I don't know. There's something about it that I just... I'm not a fan of. Now, granted, I'm finding it easier to use like a blush stick and taking it on my brush or my sponge and applying it that way. I find it to be so much easier. However, I just don't like it when it's like a mix of lips and cheeks because I never use it for both. You know what I mean? But I have a, I have quite a few products like my Merit one. I love my Merit like lip and cheek balm that I have. Fantastic, but I'll never use it for my lips. But this right here, I don't know. It's a pass. Up next, we have another day another color pop and it is their color pop collaboration with naruto if you guys did not see <laughs> your girl what actually already did a review on this collection i was sent it in pr one which is still just the craziest thing because you guys know i don't really get get pr that often from color pop so when i do it's still just like so freaking cool but two i got it before launch which like never happened. So I was so excited. I reviewed the entire collection. And in that video, I was very honest. It's a super cute collection. However, if you do have Avatar The Last Airbender or the Legend of Korra collection, you really don't need this collection because the tones are pretty similar. The concept is pretty similar. But if you are a huge um, Naruto fan, this is definitely going to be one for you. Although I definitely have seen people in my comment section and on Trend Moods posts and ColourPop's posting how pretty much disappointed they were in this collection that the colors were too similar to Avatar. It didn't really make sense for the characters. I've never seen the show, so I really, I could not do a comparison for you guys. But um, I saw a lot of disappointment. But I will say the quality of the products were fantastic. I really do love ColourPop's quality so i couldn't knock it for that i just definitely felt that it was a cute collection but not necessarily not 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 something that you need if you already have previous palette if you already had the previous avatar or legend of core collection from color pop but i'm still really grateful they sent this my way i thought that was so cool so yeah if i was a consumer you could skip up next, it looks like Shantikai is releasing their fall collection for 2023. This is the Wild Mustang collection. So they're releasing a luminescent eyeshadow. They're releasing a luminescent eye shade for $56. That's expensive. And um, a matte eyeshadow for $56. 
and a blush and a lip veil for fifty two dollars, <laughs> and an eye brush for forty three. But I will say though, by purchasing this collection though, with the, what I will say by purchasing this collection, it says with sales from the Wild Mustang Collection, they support the American Wild Horse Campaign and their Utah Conservation Program, which I think is great. You guys know I love when brands get back to animal conservation and helping out the wildlife. I love that more than anything. But I will say this collection is just so expensive. Shantikai is extremely expensive. It's one of those brands I will probably never shop truly because they're so expensive for what they are. I have tried a few products because of Teresa. Thank God for Teresa. She's allowed me to try a few of these products. But I just, I still wouldn't spend the price point on them. Truly, they are such an expensive brand. The, 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 the way they present themselves, the way they design their packaging and the product is gorgeous but it's just not worth the price point. You know what I mean? There's so many amazing indie brands out there, even drugstore brands that produce such great quality at a third of the cost that it's so hard for me to want to invest my money in this. And I know realistically, I wouldn't use it enough to get my money's worth. So super cute collection, but easy pass. Up next, it looks like Elf did a collaboration with Loser Fruit. I have never heard of that before. So this is new to me. And they're releasing their Berry Hot, their Berry Hot Drop set, which is gonna include a palette a lip mask and a strawberry sponge. And I obviously am not gonna get this cause it's all red, not for me. But two, I've never heard of Loser Fruit. What is that? It's a cute collection. Like I love the little strawberry sponge. I probably wouldn't ever use a strawberry sponge cause I wouldn't wanna ruin it. But yeah, I haven't heard of that, but that's super cute. I'm gonna pass. Well, 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 looks like Pat McGrath is releasing a new Mothership palette. So they're launching the Mothership sunlit seduction palette from the gentle allure of the floral mattes and blush tone pinks to burgundy orchids a molten crimson ruby and sparkling platform mauve palm a mauve um mauve plum with different finishes retails for 128 dollars i'm gonna pass on this for multiple reasons but the biggest being that these look like all existing shades now they could be brand new they really could be brand new but this looks just like every single mothership palette out there like this does not look wowing to me at all the quality it's nice but it's not 128 dollars nice and then three you guys know how i feel about pat mcgrath and their customer service they have horrendous customer service and since i do um contractor work for a beauty brand i know what goes into customer service and i still stand by what i said when i talked about how shitty their customer service was i just i don't i don't know if i were to ever buy pat mcgrath it's going to be through sephora because i have nothing against the physical products the physical products are nice like they are but it's just one of those things that like i rather just buy through sephora such an easier hat just just an easier situation overall but this palette i just don't find exciting at all like it's 120 dollars for pretty much the same tones you see in every other mothership palette nothing exciting very pinky, very everyday. I mean, the outside packaging, I think, is the prettiest. I really do like the outside packaging, but the colors are on the inside, I find to be a bit boring. So this is definitely an easy, easy pass for me. You know, I kind of forgot about this brand until they announced they have a new collection, but Morphe, I know, Morphe, is launching their collaboration with Meredith Duxbury. This is the Inspired by the Days at the Penthouse Pool. So they're launching a 35 pan artistry palette, a power multi effects palette, a foaming face primer, a lip liner and glaze duo, a brow sculpting wax and blush duo, and an eye face and lip gloss for an eye face and lip gloss, which is actually launching today, the 20th, but technically it's already been live by the time you guys see this. And I'm not gonna lie, I think the eyeshadow palette is absolutely beautiful such a beautiful eyeshadow palette i love the pastel rose i love the all i love all the pastel shades but then i love like the green and i love like the green and more neutral shades and then i love the deep dark shades so it's definitely a mix of so many in here and it's a gorgeous gorgeous palette and you know i i do like merit duxbury I, I like watching her tiktok she's entertaining and i will say this is a really pretty palette it's kind of nice to see color it's kind of nice wow i said color pop it's kind of nice to see morphe kind of going back to the roots a little bit with these 35 pan palettes but I'm gonna pass. And the reason I'm gonna pass is that I literally have a drawer of Morphe palettes sitting down below that I have not touched in a long time. I honestly could not tell you guys the last time I played with the Morphe palette. It has been that long. I have all these shades in existing palettes that I just don't feel the need to get this. While it's really pretty, I like the concept of it. It's just a very, very easy pass for me um, because I know just realistically, I wouldn't use this palette. Um, at all. I might get more use out of like the lip set than anything else, but I just, 
yeah, it's cute. I like it. It's it's pretty. I really do like the concept and the theme of it, but I'm going to pass just because I know I would get it to review and then I probably wouldn't pick it up again. And to me, that's just really wasteful. So we're going to pass on that one. Up next, it looks like Treat Hut is also releasing their fall 2023 coffee collection. So they're doing new sugar scrubs in an iced coffee, boba milk tea, pumpkin spice latte, and apple um, macchiato scented and they're also doing a body butter with sweet cream a body wash that's pumpkin spice latte and a coffee and cream gift set and a vanilla bear shape oil and you know what i actually have a tea tree hut scrub in my shower i always have one in there because i love actually you know kind of exfoliating my body when i take a shower but knowing that they have like a coffee scented theme like pumpkin spice latte apple macchiato iced coffee i bet it's going to smell absolutely phenomenal and you guys know i have a very soft spot for fall my fall starts august 1st whether people like it or not it's going up august 1st <laughs> i just really love fall scented fall anything especially with like pumpkin spice yes i am that girl i will be that girl at starbucks like whenever they launch it sometime in august being right there the very first day going mm, i'm here for pumpkin spice latte <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited. So this is something I would actually really love to check out. I probably would try, try to go find it at my local Ulta, see if um, I like the scents or not and pick the one that's the best one for me. But I saw that and I got really excited because I was like, ah, fall's almost here. Next, it looks like um, Chloe Cherry, who is a star on Euphoria season three, is going to be doing a collaboration with Urban Decay. It looks like they're rolling out with some lip sets and I'm going to pass on this just because I don't really want to have any like more lip sets at the moment. I will say like the deep brown one looks really freaking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I was never really a big fan of Chloe on the show. I didn't really care for her character. But one thing that kind of stands out to me the most is just like her lips. I just, I just, I just want to poke them. <laughs> I just want to poke her lips because they look like, like, you know, like plush, like they look like comfy, like pillow. They look like little pillows. You just want to poke poke her lips you know what I mean but I think it's really cool because like she is kind of maximizing on her looks and doing like a lip product since her lips are so nice and juicy and big I feel like this is a great collaboration for her and I will say that one brown shade though so really nice but I you know I never tried Urban Decay lip products so I don't really know the quality but that's awesome good for her last but not least it looks like Makeup Revolution is launching a Butterfly Wonderland collection this is going to come with an eye palette a color changing lip balm a sponge highlighter, mascara, brushette, lip oils, and fixing spray. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a cute little collection. It's a cute kind of, little, just got tongue tied. It's a cute little collection. Is this something I'm gonna get? Probably not. Um, it's not really the color scheme that I'm really that into, but I will say it's a super cute collection. I think it's kind of kind of perfect for the end of this summer season to get. And um, I know that the Makeup Revolution may not be my favorite brand, but they don't have the worst quality in the world. So it's definitely not a bad collection to get. So those are all the new makeup releases as of right now. Like I said, I am pre-filming this. So if anything does get announced, you know, later on today or on Friday and I miss it, I'm so sorry. Y'all know why I'll be missing it. But yeah, I really do love doing this series. I think it's so fun. So let me know what you guys think. Was this week exciting? Was this week boring? Are you guys just kind of like, meh, I could care less either way. Let me know your thoughts down below about all the new makeup releases and yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's all for the life where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye so if you guys want to see all the new makeup next it looks like thrive cosmetics is launching a brand new infinity waterproof liquid eyeliner pen and quite a few guys quite a few and oh my god i cannot talk today and they're doing it again this year and i'm not makeup releases are they're so you see how the the so you can actually see so you can actually so you guys so you guys want to see what all the new makeup are and see how the gold so and actually redeem a full size shampoo a full size pamper.